Hey folks, this is Engineer 775 with a new and improved low head six inch turbine from Langston's Alternative Power. Um, sent this back to Spencer. We had um, a little, some issues with the lower bearing being in water and now it's been redesigned. It's kind of hard to see, but there is, uh, there's no bearings now and it's a uh, very, you see this large aluminum section here to the right. Oh, I can't point to it very well. But anyway, it basically stiffened up that shaft so that you didn't need to hang or put a low, lower bearing in the water. So right now everything's going to run dry and there's two bearings in this housing up to the right. So much improved in terms of uh, longevity, sustainability. And so we're about to glue in a lower section here. And we're using uh, some Fernco couplings and making a transition um, from 6 inch to 10 inch. So we have an 8 inch inlet up here and then we're going to go out of the 6 inch and step it up to a 10 inch on the vertical so we get a, a ton of uh, suction power that way and so we're going to hook this baby back up and see how she performs with a new and improved turbine shaft with no bearings in the water this time. Okay. Okay, we're doing an upgrade to our hydro turbine. Uh, Spencer over at Langston's Alternative Power has made a nice improvement to the to the turbine. And we just want to show you our kind of our water flow. It's not pulling the siphon yet, but but we get a lot lots of water. We're gonna close off the intake. So we can work on this. There we go. Pun power part three. Uh, just as you saw the upgrade to the uh, turbine where the bearings are no longer in the water. Makes for a much more durable build. And we're now we're running our load here. So we're running about we're running about 500 watts sustain. And uh, we're, we were getting 600 before. So I don't know, we got some dynamic that has changed in the way we've got our setup here. So we took it all apart, put it all back together, but we're, uh, we're holding a good 500 watts and that's about all we can do right now. For some reason we changed some setup in the way we're pulling a siphon or we got an air leak. But 500 watts continuous, continuous is good. And again, this is running that AC inverter, so we're running uh, 110, 120 volt power off of this inverter generator off of the pond. So our intake we've got a good uh, another hundred thousand gallons to run through the turbine so I'm not gonna do that today but uh, anyway we're playing at the pond we're still in, we are also making some air over there let's see if I can ruin this video by showing the air bubbles. The thing's still making air somewhere? Oh, I lost it. There it is. Compressors. Solar panels were turned right out of the sun, but it's still running that little DC compressor. It's awesome. Anyway, back to the turbine. We fixed our intake on this today. We're holding our, our load here, and we're making power. All right, I'm going to unplug this just to show you what it does. You can hear the different speed. She really gets cranking. Here it sounds like it's making popcorn from time to time. That's pulling in air from somewhere. Some cavitation going on. So we're going to see what we're going to do to seal things off, do a little more troubleshooting, get this thing back up to 600 watts continuous. Okay, Engineer 775 signing off from Pond Power Part 3.